Welcome back to this new video guys of Techspress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your GoDaddy domain to the Google Workspace. And it's going to be really, really easily processed. So the first thing you want to do is to have a few prerequisites, your account and a domain. So make sure you have an active Google Workspace account with administrator access. Really, really important to have a domain name registered uh, with GoDaddy. And you'll need it to be loaded into both accounts in separate browser tabs for easy switching. So to start the domain setup into the Google Workspace, the first thing you want to do is to log into the Google Workspace out of the console. And you want to go navigate directly to the account domain to manage domains. So if you have already domain, choose the option that says set up using an existing domain and continue with that method. This will be asking you which is the domain would you like to add. If you're setting up for the probably domain for the first time, you'd like to see the prompt to start domain setup or verify the domain. And in addition to the domain, click into the add the domain. Then you want to enter the domain name and you go back into the GoDaddy. Go for my account. Choose the option that says my products. And once I am directly here into my product, what I need to do, of course, is to look how for the domain I would like to uh, purchase or I mean whatever you're going to be using for this specific uh, sign it in the domain change. So I'm going to go here for my dashboard. I'm going to go focus for my domain and click into my domain. And once I am already in here, I'm going to click into my domain. I paste my domain name and I hit for next. Now it says if you own this domain and would like to use the Google Workspace, please follow the steps here. So I choose this option. And then what I need to do is to use your domain to set up the account email sent. This won't be affected until you set up email this account. Choose the option that says next. And this is how it should be appearing your username. For example, I'm on Twitter at and I choose an actual passcode and I agree and continue. Once you have now successfully done this process, it might be asking you to enter your domain name and to the most common method is to add a txt record to your domain dns now google workspace will provide in a specific uh, txt value a long string of characters it might be appearing for example in here something like this if i go back into the GoDaddy and i click directly here into dns these are the current values of my DNS elements that I might be needing to add directly into my Google account elements. So what I need to do is to go for the option that says add record. And I choose the type, usually it's a TXT file, name and value. Usually the name uh, can be add or triple W and just copy the TXT value provided of course by the Google Workspace and paste them directly here into the new records of uh, the portfolio, in my case of the GoDaddy. Once you have now successfully done this process, what's gonna happen here is that um, opening your account and basically click into the DNS, manage the DNS. Now we currently have now no active uh, subscription here into the Google Workspace. So this is like how far we're gonna be focusing on. But basically you just need to add all the TXT information hidden into the option that says save. And make sure that when you save this element, if this one won't let you continue, that means that you have another TXT file that you must need it to delete in order to continue. So this is the most crucial step for getting your email working with a custom domain. You might want to be adding even an MX record. So once your domain is verified, the Google Workspace will get you to activate the Gmail. If not, go into the application uh, and look for the MX records. So Google provides a specific setup of MX codes. You can focus once again here into the type, choose MX. And usually the typically are, I'm gonna go for app, the priority number one and the value usually is ASPMX dot L dot Google dot com and we have half an hour you can add more values for example the priority five this is really common which is the alt one dot ASPMX dot L dot Google dot com and other values for example it could be alt two and LT3 and LT4 and the priority from 5, 5 and out of 10. So back into the GoDaddy, as you can see, here is the selection of the MX. You add all of them, the corresponding priority. 
and you really, really, really show that you have saved the changes. So an SPF, a center policy framework record helps prevent your email from being marketed as a spam. So it's a TXT record. So into the GoDaddy, the AS management, you click into the TXT file, you added all of those elements and you include all of them. Now you can add a DKIM record. So uh, this might be adding directly here into the Google workspace. I mean, we don't have access right at the moment, but still what you can do now is to go for uh, Google Workspace, Gmail, Authenticate Email. So you can select your domain, generate the new record. Uh, Google will provide a DNS host name and a long TXT record value. Once you have added all of this information out of the CSNE file, just wait for the DNS propagation and verify. The DNS changes are not instant. This might be taking anywhere a few minutes uh, from 24 to 48 hours. So this requires to fully propagate across the internet. You can use tools like the whatsmydns.net to check if your DNS is uh, are propagating. Periodically check your Google Workspace address through the console. So once the record are active, Google will confirm the Gmail and other services are enabled for your domain. So just uh, test sending and receiving emails and there you have it. So this is a really easily way how you can connect the Google Workspace directly here into GoDaddy. Basically, if you have another domain from it, uh, somewhere else, for example, named Cheap, Azana, um, Squarespace, the process is exactly the same, just focus directly into your domain, DNS record, and all your DNS information should be provided from Google Workspace, and you can be adding those directly into the provider that you choose from the domain server. So, um, by correctly configuring these DNS records, you have unlocked professional email, collaborative tool, and case and security all under your brand. So, you can let us know in the comments below. If this video helped you, hit that like button and share this video with fellow entrepreneurs. Make sure to subscribe to TechPress for more essential tech guides. So hopefully guys, with all this being said, we can all see you next time. See you soon.